Welcome to another 6x9 Storyteller episode. Please subscribe and give me a like and share my video if you're enjoying them. Now, let's begin with today's stories. I'm a workshop volunteer, not a babysitter. This happened during middle school, when volunteering was required for schoolwork and I had the unfortunate experience of dealing with a Karen that got mad at the workshop coordinators for being their well-behaved kids to help out with the workshop, while letting her own hobgoblins run amok and knocking over plants. Before this experience I've rarely done volunteer work, I've helped out a few times but that was for church events or family members, so this was new for me cause it was required for school and I'll admit my job resumed constant of volunteer work than actual jobs. I've been at the flower shop sells all morning and helped customers load their plants or help at checkout and when there wasn't much customers, I'd help out by watering the plants and moving plants around to make more space for other plants, then Karen appeared and we could tell she would be a problem when she stormed up and just stared at everyone down like we were dirty peasants. She looks around at the plants, all while throwing dirty looks at the coordinator's kids and grumbling to herself about something. Me and the other volunteers were moving things around when Karen walked up on us saying loudly excuse me, where are more of these type of plants? As she is holding a pot in front of us, I take a look at the tag and go searching for the plant. When I return Karen has walked off somewhere and I couldn't find her so I walk off to finish moving things around. Karen, hey where is the plant I asked for? Me, what? Oh I couldn't find any more but I'm sure the coordinator might have more in their cars. Karen, well then go and get two more pots for me, also make sure they don't have any dead leaves on it, I need them fresh. Me, I'm not sure where the coordinator's car is, but I'm sure you can ask them yourself. Karen just huffs and puffs away, so I just go back to what I was doing, not long after Karen pays for some of the plants she was looking at and demands that we help her load the plants into her car. Since we weren't busy and cause the workshop was closing soon, me and the other volunteers help load the pot into her car, as we were approaching the car. We hear some kids yelling and screaming from the car asking if they can go and see the plants before they leave, Karen opens the door and lets them run around for a bit, while we load the plants into the car. As we walk it to the workshop, we hear the kids running around among the rows of plants and even starting to move the tags around on the pots, the hobgoblins even started pushing the pots across the stalls and a lot of them were very close to tipping over which we had to rush over and catch before the pots fall off the stalls, while telling them not to shake or push the pots around, cause the coordinator paid a lot of money and spent hours to grow these plants. The coordinator noticed this and told Karen to keep an eye on her kids, since Karen had came back to shop around a bit more. Karen, well why should I have to watch my kids, when you've got plenty of babysitters to watch your kids, surely they can watch my kids too instead of just stand around doing nothing. Coordinator, this teens aren't our babysitters, they are high schoolers doing volunteering work. Karen, yeah whatever just tell them to keep an eye on my kids. Karen just walks away and continues looking at the plants, while her kids continues running around amok and even started playing hide and seek among the stall stands, bumping into the stalls whenever they ran by or duck under the stands to hide from one another. Me, hey kids can you not hide under the stalls, you're bumping into the stalls and causing the pots to shake and we don't want the pots falling onto the ground. Hobgoblin 1, but mom says we can play wherever we want in these tables, stalls, are perfect for hiding under. Dot. Me, she might have gave you permission to play while here, but there are heavy pots here and if it falls on your heads, you can easily get hurt. Now please don't crawl under here and don't bump into them either. As I'm finishing this, I hear a loud crashing sound, kids laughing and sprinting away. I turn to see that a pot had fallen onto the ground and dirt was spilling onto the ground, I run over to find an empty pot to place the plant into carefully making sure I don't accidentally damage the roots. Not long after I finished doing this I noticed the hobgoblins had gone quiet, but Karen was still browsing which made me slightly suspicious and since I've babysat most of my little cousins, cause that means they might be causing trouble somewhere. As I'm walking towards the back rows of plants I notice some of the pots that were set up back there had disappeared, so I wave over the coordinators to ask if they moved them, which they said no and that's when we hear kids giggling from a few feet away. We follow the giggling to see Karen's hobgoblins had ripped the plants out of the pots and were playing with the dirt, the coordinator gets mad and yells at the little goblins for messing up their plants, causing the goblins to start crying and running to Mama Karen. The other coordinators comes to see what happened and they bring over a dust pan, as well as extra bags of dirt to refill the pots with, as me and the volunteers are cleaning up the mess we hear the angry scream of the Karen WHO dares to yell at my babies. The coordinator goes to deal with Karen and this is what I can remember of the exchange. Karen. Well who was IT? Who was the one that made my babies cry? Was IT that Asian brat WHO threatened to drop a pot on my baby? 
I look at from the mess towards Karen with a WTF look on my face, cause I never said that and just warned the kids the danger of the clay pots falling on their heads. Luckily the coordinator didn't believe Karen's BS and told her that I wouldn't say that and that I had just warned the kids, not threatened them. Karen, so you're siding with the Asian cause you don't mind them stealing your job, well I guess you don't mind losing service when I report you to your boss. Coordinator, go ahead and report me, cause we're the ones who coordinated this workshop and not an actual business. You can take the plants you bought and just leave cause we don't approve of you making false accusation or racism towards our volunteers. Karen gets mad and processed to knock over some more pots before storming off. Luckily the ones she knocked over were low to the ground and didn't break, but Karen decided to be even more petty by throwing the other plants from the back of her car and smashing them in the parking lot. Before she comes storming back to us demanding a refund, which I don't believe Karen got back. Cause they had a no refund policy or something I don't remember, which caused Karen to become even more enraged and the coordinators were forced to call the cops to make Karen leave. The other volunteers and I ended up staying an extra hour to clean up the dirt, repotting Karen's plants, taking down the other plants and loading them back onto the coordinators cars before we could leave ourselves.